Hey everybody, welcome to Vintage Pokemon 100 Brothers. Uh, today I'm actually going to go through my sealed collection, so I'm really excited. Uh, mainly excited because I don't know how much all this stuff is worth now. Uh, the bulk of my sealed stuff I start, I purchased like two years ago, so I know the price has just been skyrocketing since then. So yeah, let's go ahead and let's dive into it real quick because I think this is going to be kind of a longer video. So, alright, mm, what should I start with? Okay, I think these ones will be pretty fun to look up. And something that a lot of you guys have seen already in my collection. So this right here is a Power Reserve um, theme deck. So this is a jungle theme deck. Comes with a holographic Kangaskhan. Yep, you can see it back there. It might even come with a non-holo Kangaskhan as well. I forget. But uh, yeah, and a cool coin. This is one of those uh, theme decks. So this is really awesome. Steel sealed. One of my favorites in my collection. Zap theme deck. This one's probably worth a bit more than the jungle one. One, because it's base set, has Mewtwo and Pikachu, which are two of the big guys um, from the Pokemon. Another reason is there's a chance to get what they call a Phantom Pikachu in here. Not in this one necessarily, if you know what you're looking for. I believe the Phantom Pikachu cards, they normally have like a gold strip, and it might even open a different way. Like it might open from the side instead of up top. Oh, I think this one opens from the side. Oh, whoa. Maybe I think then maybe it opens up from the top and not from the side. But I believe I looked into this one a bit and this is one that wouldn't have the Phantom Pikachu. But I don't know. Maybe if one of you guys say, no, this actually is the one that would have the Phantom Pikachu, maybe I'll open it, but I doubt it. This is just a really cool sealed item to have. So bam, two theme decks. Now we have some of my awesome Pokemon packs that I like, like Pop Series 3. It's not the most expensive Pop Series, but my favorite pack art of all time is the Legendary Collections Eevees. I don't have that, but this is like, this is the dollar store version <laughs> of the Legendary Collections to me. Because we have the three Eevee evolutions right here, but yeah, it's Pop Series 3. So this is a pack in my sealed collection that I don't think I'll ever open up, but I really like. This one I actually bought like maybe six months ago, so not too, too long ago. This one I did buy two years ago. This is a Neo Genesis pack. Could have a Lugia in it. Something that I've thought about opening. I don't know, I may or may not. Just They're just getting so expensive now. I believe I purchased this for like $50 a couple of years ago. And now it's probably about a hundred, if not more than a hundred. I'm thinking it's probably real close to a hundred, if not more. So it's just, it's just things like these. They just became too expensive for me to open up now. I just don't see, don't see the value in opening it up. All right, now we have a Neo Discovery Japanese pack. This is something. If you watched me when I first started, this is something that my brother and I we've opened a few of these. And this is one that I think I purchased that I was going to open up on the channel as well. But like other things, they just started becoming more and more expensive. This is something that we used to be able to buy for like $30, a bit under 40 And now I believe, yeah, we'll see how much these are. And it's like, these are fun to open up when they're 30 But now I imagine this is probably about 50 if not more. And it's just no longer, I just can't see opening something up like that anymore. So this is one that it's probably just going to stay in my sealed collection. Um, I guess before I get to my favorite pack, <laughs> we'll go um, Phantom Forces. This is just a pack. It looks kind of cool. And these XY packs were starting to become a little bit more expensive. So I just wanted to grab one. They have a really cool Gengar card in it. I just wanted to grab one of these um, before it became too expensive and I wouldn't be able to get one again. So yeah, I got this. Okay. All right. And then this is the big... The big Papa card. This is a Charizard blister. I bought this a couple years ago for, I want to say, $120. I'm really happy I purchased it when I did. I wish I could get a really nice case for it. I've seen them around. But yeah, I got this for $120. This is something that I don't think, if I, if, if my channel becomes monetized and I start making a lot of money, this might be like a, a celebration opening. Like, but I wouldn't be able to open this unless I'd be able to pay for another one, like, with the channel. 
this is just a really cool, really, this is one of my favorite pieces of my sealed collection. All right. Another thing I have is we have some of these vending machine sheets. So I have a few of these that I haven't opened. And these really, the prices drastically go by what series and what page, because that's going to determine what you're going to get, how much it's going to be worth. But I try to get the cheaper ones. So there's some more expensive ones in here. Let's see. But I think a lot of these are ones that I opened, and some of them I haven't. So we'll go through these. Yeah, like I opened that one, opened that one. I opened the special card in this one. And I think, okay, and this one's not opened. This one might be worth a little bit because it has that special card right there. Let's see what sheet this is. I think it's four, number two. So it might be sheet four. All right, four, number two. I think that's the sheet. Yeah. Yeah, so I have a couple of these vending things that I think I'm just going to keep sealed since I already opened up quite a few of them on the channel already. They're a lot of fun. Definitely a lot of fun. I love the artworks and all of those. So yeah, got a couple of those. Some Southern Islands. And I did like giveaways with these as well. But these, I believe, when I bought them, they're about $13. And you can still get them, at least last I looked, for pretty cheap. The Mew one goes for maybe 20 or 30 but the other one's usually not too much. So yep, we got that one. We got this one with Lickitung, Vile Plume, and Primeape. <laughs> Just keep on flipping them. We got this one, Togepi. I love Togepi. Eradicate Ivysaur. <laughs> we have Executor, Slow King, War Turtle. And then we have the Lapras, Meryl Tentacruel. Another War Turtle one. And then here's the Mew one. I don't, I, I don't know if they have any other ones. I think I have all of them. And a couple doubles. But yeah, those are really awesome. Let's see. I have three... Mewtwo first movie packs in there. Those are pretty awesome. I opened one of those on the channel before. So I think I'm going to keep these sealed. I've showed these off before as well. The Poke Gum. So this is one of each pack. Team Rocket. All the starters evolved. There's all the friends. And Ash and Pikachu. So these are very cool. And they were pretty expensive when I got them. Um, and I only got them like maybe a month or two ago, so I don't think they're they're worth too too much now. But yeah, it's cool cool to see what those are maybe going for now. On action flips, it's probably only worth a couple bucks, but it's something I saw that was going for pretty inexpensive, so I decided to pick it up. Let's see, we have oh I got a few ancient Mews still sealed. So, yeah, we have an Ancient Mew, Ancient Mew, another Ancient Mew, so three Ancient Mews. Those are pretty awesome. I've got a lot, a lot of Legendary Birds. I got these a while ago. So, yeah, we got one. That's a pack of three. That's a set. Two, three, four... Another set of three, another set of three, four, and then here's a bunch of singles. So that's nine. Let's see how many I have. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 of the legendary bird cards still sealed. Those are pretty awesome. I really like those. I feel like they'll probably go up quite a bit. This is, um, this is from another one of the movies. These are sealed. These are Entei. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven Entei. Let's see if we can see what the guy kind of looks like. I think it's like a re reverse hollow Entei. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So you can kind of see the shiny right there. So yeah. Those Entei cards. Pretty awesome. Here's some other old movie promos right here. So like this is a Mewtwo, Dragonite, Electabuzz, Pikachu. I believe this other last one is another Pikachu because I really like Pikachu. So I got these promos sealed 
really like these guys. I was opening them on the channel as well because I was looking for like the misprints. But then I found out from TCA Gaming that the misprints, they have another sleeve on the other side. So I don't have any of those. So these are kind of just better left sealed for me right now. We have some more sealed Neo promos right in here. Let me open this up. I'm not going to open up the promo. I believe it's some kind of baby Pokemon. It might be a Cleffa. But let's see. What's new? Baby Pokemon card. So yeah. Pichu evolves into Pikachu. The Pikachu. It might be a Pichu. But these are what? Neo. Genesis. Promo things. So these are really cool. So I have one, two, three, four, five of these that came in the very beginning of Neo Genesis. See, I'll see if I get some more information on these. And I believe I probably got all of these for just like $10. And these are something as well that I think I got like maybe four months ago. So those are pretty cool. This is one of my toys. Little sealed Squirtle and a Pokeball. Brings back old memories. Really like that. All right. This right here is the biggest Pokemon pack ever. I think it came out like a year ago. Probably with Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. So, yeah. I'm not going to open this up. Yeah, it says 2019. That's really cool. I think it comes with like a, a little booster pack, like a dollar pack. A coin and some instructions on playing the game. So yeah, that's pretty cool. I got this Neo Genesis binder. I've opened up one of these. I think I gave one of these away as well. So yeah, it's cool. It has a Tyranitar, Typhlosion, Meganium in here with the evolutions. Some cool stuff. So yep, got one of these to keep sealed. So I opened up another one and gave away another one. So also one sealed for me. All right. Oh, this is the Cleffa thing. So here's another Japanese. I think it's kind of like a Korra Korra. So I think this came out of a magazine. Yeah, Cor oh, Yeah, I think it came out of a magazine. So it's a little little Cleffa promo. Looks like that. So I'm just not gonna pull. Not gonna tear it. I think no reason to really tear that one out. That's pretty cool. We have this guy. A lot of people have those still sealed. We have this other Neo one. Oh, I don't know what's in here. Pikachu the movie 2000. Neo. Hmm. Hmm. This might be kind of hard to look up. The Neo Discovery thing. I don't know what this one might have. This is pretty cool. Maybe it's a Pikachu. Maybe it's a Pikachu card. Pretty cool. I'll have to look this up, see what's in it, show you guys. But yeah. And then this is this is what it came in when I got it mailed. Pikachu the Move 2000. Unopened promos. So got that. We got a Machamp. So Machamp, I actually got two of these, so I'll put price for two of those on there. One and then two. I have this sealed Pikachu promo right here. That's really awesome. Another Birds. I want to see what the total is. I have this guy right here. I don't know what this is, but it's an E-Series card. You tell because of that right there and the Blastoise. It'll be really cool if it's a Blastoise. This might have been like a McDonald's thing. Let me see if I can move it. Oh, it's a Celebi. Celebi promo E-Series. That's really cool. I have that. Shining Ho-Oh. That's really cool. We got a lot of these guys. We'll go through them kind of quick. Toys R Us Charmander sealed. That's awesome. Shiny Magikarp sealed. That's really cool. Toys R Us Clefairy. Toys R Us Clefairy. Stuffle. Pikachu. Electabuzz. Geodude. Tangela, my boy. I don't know why <laughs> things burnt a little bit. Full Picks. Meowth. This is probably the whole Toys R Us collection. Magikarp. And then this pick a peck. This looks a little bit different, but it's in there. It's sealed. Pretty cool. And I guess the last ones, I'll put this. This is just something I'm going to keep. 
but I believe this is called like the Double Blaze Tag Team GX, and then I have quite a few of these still unopened since I've got uh, since I I got the Chase card kind of quick. I decided not to really open up the rest of them, so this is something that I'm gonna keep sealed. So we'll see how many I have of these real quick, and then I think that's gonna end my sealed collection. I'm thinking I'd be amazed if I had more than six hundred dollars. I'm thinking it'll be like four or five hundred, maybe. I don't know, maybe more. But all together. So yeah, we'll see how much one of these costs. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Twenty-three. So whatever that is times 23. Well, well, that is my sealed collection. Going through this all again real quick. Man, I'm gonna have a lot of work for this video to put the prices up there, but I'm really, I'm really interested to see how much all of this is worth, especially those theme decks. I'm thinking the big things are gonna be the theme decks and that Charizard pack. Everything else is probably just gonna be worth like maybe five, 10 bucks but then multiplied with by however many they are. So yeah, the sealed collection is something that I'm definitely working on a bit more, and I'm actually going to be starting a new series where I'm gonna be looking for a lot of awesome cards and stuff like that, sealed or maybe just like uh, binders like I got from Jason a while ago. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing. All right, see you guys later.